Okay, with coach Dean Brell and Dino, two wins, two games, four points from the weekend. Uh, starting off with Bracknell on Saturday, how do you think the team performed? We put in a good, a good performance there. Um, it was a difficult place to go, big ice, uh, a good team, a uh, well drilled team, quick physical. Um, so it was going to be a very tough one for us there. And, uh, you know, we stuck to our guns, we did, uh, we worked hard in our systems, we worked hard both ways on the ice and, um, you know, we, we did very well there, I was very pleased with the boys, um, you know, we limited our errors and we played some smart hockey there, uh, it was a good game to watch from a neutral, I, I thought, um, so very happy with that. Um, the Saturday, uh, you know, Peterborough are, are kind of in, in a rebuilding stage. Um, after speaking to the coach, they've got a plan that they're, they're kind of sticking to. So their main objective is to to make sure they stay in the A League this year. Um, you know, the one the, the, the team of a couple of years ago, they, they've had a clear out and they're getting some some of the, the youth through, which is which is good. Um, and you know, we they, they they made it very difficult for us. They they, they were pretty uh, pretty. They were quite well oiled, and um, you know the, the goalkeeper had a good game as well, Simon Wren. Um, but you know, for for me, the the, the pluses of the weekend were the uh, the goals against, and um, you know we limited shots uh, quite a lot um, in both games. So that, that's the pluses for me there. And uh, talk about the Novak incident when he got injected on the match penalty. What do you think of the incident and what you saw of it? It's a, it's a difficult one, um, the, the lads just played the puck, turned round, the guys came in, made the hit. Um, I, I could honestly say that i seen the stick go up. Um, if it did, it was an instant reaction. Um, if it didn't, the guys, I don't know if he got a cut on the chin or something like that. I think Someone's it saying it's his face cage, it was Novak's yeah, face cage. Yeah, it was face oh. cage, I mean the guy fell flat on top of him. Um, but the, the, the thing 5 plus 10 penalty for high sticks is gone now and it's either like a minor or you're going out of the game and uh, you know it was put in the referee's report that it was accidental um, so you know he'll, he'll bounce back from that, he's fine with that um, and you know we've got the depth in, in our squad to, to deal with that so it's, it's not the end of the world. What did you um, say to Novak on the bench or? As he's coming off. Just to keep his chin up, I didn't think you know he had done anything majorly wrong. You know, I think it's it's kind of been blown out a little bit of proportions. And it, you know, the guys come in as soon as he's sort of seen it. I, I just basically said, you know, I'm not I'm not you know going to bother him about it. It's uh, it's just one of those things. Chin up next game, get him back out there, he'll be fine. Okay, and um, so going back to the Peterborough game. What do you think of their team and uh, their conduct on and off the ice? Because you seem to be having some like words well, at the bench. Yeah, there was, a, there was a little bit of heat at the moment. Sort of stuff, we, we had a few words flying, there was nothing major. Uh, it was you know, like part and parcel of it at times. You know, things get said, whatever. Um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, they weren't, you know, overly rough or aggressive. You know, it's nothing that we can't handle, so uh, uh, no, no problem there. And how do you think like the Warriors are progressing since they've started the season? Um, they're, they're getting there, you know, it's a new squad together. Um, you know, some of the juniors are starting to shine coming through there now. And, uh, you know, they, they, they took a, a good win up in the Isle of Wight. Um, Gosport, they felt they could have done better, and certainly here on Saturday against Cardiff. You know, they pulled it back in the second period for the all. Um, and, and then just ran out of steam. So they, we know what we've got to do um, with the coach Paul Wilcox. We, we both kind of looking at it, working at it, and uh, yeah, we, it's uh, it, it's coming along, coming along nicely. And final question: a um, lot of criticism on the forums about like Rudy and Jerry, like two imports. Can you sort of clear up your yeah, views on I it? Think, you know what? I think it's uh, you know. People are allowed to get their views. Um, everyone from time to time can be a coach and you know, long and short of it is if you can find me two guys 
as able and capable as what they are, um, you know, without having to fly them in, give them a wage, give them housing, um, like what maybe some other teams are doing, I don't know, you know, great, let me have a look at them. Until then, you know, those boys are fine for me, they're working, you know, they're working for the name in the front of their shirt, not the name in the back, and they're giving it everything that they've got. Um, I regard them quite highly. Um, they're just, you know, a, another cog in the wheel for me, and um, they're, they're doing what's expected of them, and when they're not, they get told like anybody else, and so I, I'm happy at the moment. They're, they're producing as far as I'm concerned.